there's a lot with this actually this is what we were showing um did you guys watch the vtuber academy it was the whole thing that mouse did where we got into calls i almost like for i forgot i was even like recording i was just sitting there and they were asking questions and i was going over things and they were asking specifically about the topic of debuts and you know, what is standard? What what should I do for my debut? Whatever. It was basically a bunch of flesh streamers that were not VTubers that were kind of learning how to be them. So I went and, uh, you know, explained a lot of stuff. And one of the things we did was we, we opened this because we were just teaching them a little more about VTube Studio because they were unfamiliar with it. And we got on like the effects and we were just like, <gasps> and we ended up spending like, I don't know how long they showed it for. I can't remember in, in the actual stream, but the amount of time we spent doing that is a lot. I know you can put on like bloom and it gets crazy. Is this one? No, it's dampening. Bloom threshold, bloom intensity, light streak, effect on. Oh, I saw it for a second. I don't think it works that well in this model. <laughs> I don't think it works. The bloom doesn't work. Oh, well, what about the outline? Does the outline work? I could do that. Ooh, it ends up looking like backlighting. They have a lot of cool things. It's just, it's it's working with the layers that you have though. So it can be a little, a little awkward. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff that they added like this straight in VTube Studio, which is great. But I actually, I actually much prefer using the ones uh, that you can get in OBS's shaders personally. Oh yeah, you can do backlight direction too. You can change the angle of it. So just see how it's only on like the left. You can make it appear on the right. There's a lot you can do with that. You can put it on both sides if I really uh, do stuff with it. I can change the color. I can make it green. I can make it whatever. So if I put on the effect like that, you see that? Now it's green. There's a lot of cool shit you can do. Really, really cool shit. But I don't use them. Custom particle effects? I don't know. They have like, yeah, they have this one. It's like a billion hearts. <laughs> I don't see myself using that one very much. But, you know, you can make these custom particle effects and, and you know, you can you could adjust this one heavily. I don't know. I think it's really, really cool. This one's neat. It's like I'm in an old film. It's like I'm an old movie, but it just applies the effect to your model. So sometimes it looks a little uh, funny if like the whole screen doesn't do it. And that's why I like to do it in OBS if I need to, because then I can affect all of the layers differently if I want. Oh, I could do the foggy window. That's a personal favorite. You make a scene that looks like you put tiles in the background and now you're, you're in the goddamn bathroom. You'd be like, guys, I don't have a towel, you know, like. <laughs> You do a whole bit with it. A whole damn bit. Pika forgets you in the rain while she's streaming ASMR. So true. Real and true. Oh yeah, the pixel effect. I could do this and then I could make myself like like GBA colors. Might get green. Look at this. We're going we're going full GBA. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hoo-hoo-wee. I think this one's too bright. Tone that one down a bit. One tick. Isn't that cool? Fry. Uh Boo! Isn't that nice? I like this. And then if you play a game that's from that era, you can match yourself to it, right? You can match yourself to it. So you you look right next to the game, right? So if you play retro games, you could throw this on and put it on a toggle and just be like, boom, here I am. And then you're playing like, you know, Wario Land 4 or whatever. <laughs> that was Game Boy Color, wasn't it? Was it? Actually, I don't remember. Oh yeah, Oberdin, Oberdin as well would work uh pretty damn well yeah yeah this model does look good in this kind of form i agree i agree but yeah there's a lot of really really cool filters man and it's built in so you don't need to know anything you just use sliders to fix it however you like i like that i like that we got blur we got tv static ring we got wave distortion lens distortion oh yeah they got full lens distortion so you can make like um you could do f a full five head what does wave distortion do oh no wait you could, you could put this on. Hold on, let's do no raindrops and just heat waves. You could put this on and then put on a wiggly voice filter. And you're like, ah, ah, ah. oh man. Wait, ASCII. Oh my God. For, for when I play Rogue. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Wait, how much can it keep up? Oh, oh. Wait, check it out. Check it out. That's cool. That one actually works a lot better than I thought. Oh, they posterize. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You should get a VTuber model, all of you, and play with it. Or just get VTube Studio and play with it. Because it's cool. Because it's cool.